Hey guys, welcome to the channel Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. I am looking forward to this because it's been a while since I've done a Reba song. And Charlene Stewart requested that I do the song The Greatest Man I Never Knew. And so uh, obviously this is going to be a sad song, but it could be, it, you know, good songwriters can take these in many directions. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know the song. But you said that this is in honor of your dad who passed away some time ago, Charlene. So, of course, I'm sorry that your dad passed. My mom passed a while ago. My dad is still with us, but he's going to be 93 this year. What year are we in? Three? He'll be 92. So let's see what Reba's got. The greatest man I never knew. Huh. beginning makes sense for a Reba song, the piano. Some artists do that more than others. The greatest man I never knew lived just down the hall touched at all He was in his paper Yeah I was in my room How was I to know He thought I owned the moon wow. The great He grew cold like a winter wind, like blowing across my life. Is that what that said? I guess we'll find out. The greatest words I never heard, I guess I'll never hear. The man I thought could never die has been dead almost. I can relate to aspects of this song too, Charlene. So, I mean, that's what we do when we hear stories like this. We see where we fit into it. We try to identify with it. Or sometimes you have no choice. It just hits you. And and I, I can relate to a lot of this song. Absolutely. And that's why I actually, in my life coaching, actually the first YouTube channel I started was a life my life coaching channel. And I might have even posted it here. But it's just about recognizing someone else's strengths and then being vocal about it. Like seeing the good things that you see in other people. 
and it's gonna be a, it's got to be appropriate. And you know, I, I hate cheerleading. I don't mean like football games and basketball games, not that type. I don't mean just like saying, "Oh, that's great," or "Oh, good job," or the nonstop trophy generation mindset. I mean, seriously, looking into somebody and seeing the things that you believe in and, and saying those things. And if you love someone, say it. It's not that, you know. And uh, I wasn't taught this growing up. I never heard it growing up from either of my parents. And um, uh, some parents have it in them, some don't. But I acquired it. I'm like, at some point, I took the risk of being a little bit more bold, if you will, because to me, it was bold. Uh, obviously telling my ex-wife that I loved her when we were married. I mean, that, you know, but I tell my friends and my buddies, and you know, I love you, man, you know, being able to say it. And at first, it's kind of weird if you weren't in the habit of it. But if you heard it from your parents, it, it be, it's easier. It's not so strange, you know, to turn around and say it because you'd heard it. And it isn't even, a, you don't even need to process it in any formal type of way. When you're exposed to that kind of thing when you're younger, it just comes easier for you to um, replicate it, if you will, or just absorb it as your own. So, yeah, I'm not going to rate that, Charlene, just because you said that's in honor of your father. And so I'm going to leave it, but I'm sure a number of folks can relate to this. I mean, my dad's thing wasn't so much the newspaper as Time Magazine, where he, did, he wanted to quiet in the house period he just didn't want <laughs> he wanted it quiet and i can understand that to a point but in other times i'm like well all right we didn't talk that much it just wasn't that way and so i can you know feel this song for you as well though your circumstances have nuances that are different there are similarities so anyhow folks that's reva's the greatest man i never knew there you go folks have a great day Tell folks you love them if you love them. Talk with them. Talk with your kids. I don't know. What else can I say? Have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country.